It's beginning to look a lot like December. In fact, it is December. It's December the 1st. And to celebrate, I am launching a very special Christmas book advent calendar here on my YouTube channel. Yep, every day between now and December 25th, I'll be talking about a different book for Christmas. So whether you want to get it for Christmas, whether you want to read it during the course of the Christmas season, or you're really stumped and don't know what to get somebody else for Christmas, hopefully one of the books I talk about along the way will give you some helpful hints and suggestions. I am of course wearing my Christmas jumper. I'm wearing a very light one this time, very early season. So this is a little one with penguins on it that I picked up in New Look and it's a nice grey and it's very, very comfy. So if you're looking for a Christmas jumper and don't want to go too zany, you might want to take a look in there. There's lots of great ones in town as well actually. I'm just very snug. Anyway, on with the books. The first book in my Christmas book advent calendar, how many times can I fit that in a sentence, is uh, Dermot O'Leary's The Soundtrack to My Life. So this is the autobiography of the X Factor presenter slash radio presenter. He presents a show on BBC Radio 2. And uh, former Big Brother's Little Brother host, former T4 host, former production assistant, you name it, he's done it in terms of TV. And that's something that's very interesting about this book. We actually learn a lot not just about Dermot, but about his career and about how hard you have to work in the industry. That's something I really appreciate because it's kind of the industry I've been partially dipping my toe in and out of, working as a journalist, working in TV, doing bits and pieces on radio from time to time. So I can really relate to a lot of the stuff in this book and perhaps that's why I loved it so much. This is a fantastic autobiography. It's written in a really different way in that Dermot has different songs for each chapter of his book and chapter of his life. And those songs are so handy for you as well, because as a reader, you pick up what those songs are and you think, oh my God, where was I when those songs were released? What was I doing when those songs were released? And you can make a really cool little kind of comparison and connect in really well to like the time period in his life. Now, this book is not just the story of his life. And if you're a One Direction fan, it is not jam packed with One Direction references or X Factor references. So if you're looking to find out what Harry and Dermot do behind closed doors, I suggest you look elsewhere or check out One Direction's biography slash autobiography. I'm not sure who wrote that exactly. I think it's called Who We Are. Hopefully someone will get that for me for Christmas. I'm not even kidding. I kind of secretly love One Direction and not so secretly. You'll see some videos of them on my channel from when I went to see them in Dublin earlier this year. I am 25, I swear. But back to Dermot with that um, embarrassing admission now up on YouTube because you know I'll just love a bit of self-deprecation. The soundtrack of my life is a brilliant book and a really cool thing about it as well is that for every song there's a little YouTube link so if you're not sure what the song is that he's talking about you can actually go and look it up online which I think is really cool because then you're never left feeling what is he talking about or what on earth is that? That? That's the Dublin coming through. What on earth is that? This, that, these and those. That's the way the TH goes. Um, you can look them up online. I'm really sorry about that. And uh, you can find out exactly what the songs are and maybe find some interesting new music. Now, I love this book all the more because I only went and uh, met Dermot when he came to Dublin and got it signed. And he's kind of my TV hero. Himself and Davina McCall are my TV presenting heroes. They are the people that made me want to get into TV. They are the presenters that I admire the most and yes I have many times stated on Twitter that I would love to grow up to be their TV presenting love child so you know what maybe one day that'll happen but until then I will always say that the soundtrack to my life is one of the best autobiographies I've read and has really kind of inspired me to reinvigorate and kind of kickstart my career again so all round I'll give it five out of five now if you think that the soundtrack to my life sounds like a book you'd enjoy over Christmas or you think it's a book that somebody you know might enjoy, great! Stick it on the Christmas list, go out and pick it up for a friend or you know just watch this video about it. You don't have to buy anything. So there you have it. Day one on my Christmas advent calendar belongs to Dermot O'Leary and the soundtrack to my life, a cracking little autobiography that would fit snugly in any Christmas stocking. Until next time, which will be tomorrow, day two, when I will have another book recommendation for my Christmas book advent calendar. See, I told you I'd fit it in one more time. Have a very happy December, for now, for the next 24 hours, and happy reading.